I'm going to help you get set up with your newsletter. We'll start with the create new file in InDesign. And in the new document setup, you can see I have preview checked here. So I have a document behind. You can see it getting set up. I'm going to name it newsletter and always put your initials in your file names. Try not to use any spaces in them. This is going to be 8.5 by 11. It'll be a vertical setup and it's going to be four pages. I want the start page to be page one when I do my page numbering. I'm going to have it three columns and I am going to have half inch margins. So I'm going to move this down to a half inch. And then I'm going to uh, click on this chain link so that it unlinks these four so that I can change the bottom to one inch so I'll have space for my page number. I'm going to click Create now. And let's get the workspace set up. So you'll choose Window, Workspace, and Essentials. And then after that, I want you to choose Workspace and Reset Essentials. And this way, the tools that you have down on the left side and the palettes that you have over here on the right will be the same as mine. Let's choose the Pages tab, and you can see our document set up there. Pages 1 and 4 are by themselves, because as a folded piece of paper, pages 2 and 3 would be beside each other, but pages 1 and 4 would be alone. So here's my document. You can see pages 1. I'm double-clicking here to get a look at the pages. So just a few basics. On page 1, if I type Control or Command Zero, that'll make this page fit in the window. Command or Control Plus is a zoom in. Command or Control Negative is a zoom out. I'm going to click on my Master Pages. Double click here to get to your Master Pages. You'll see it's selected in blue so you'll know you're there. And here on my Master Pages you can see this is the one inch area that I set up for my page number. I'm going to hold my control key and click on the ruler. Oops, my command key and click on the ruler and drag out a guide. I'm going to put this guide at a quarter inch and then I'll get another one and put it at a half inch. So this is the area for my page numbers. That looks a little large, but I'll be okay with it for now. So I'll create a text frame and I'm going to build a text frame that goes, it's going to match the columns. You can see here that the right side and the left side are matching the columns. So I'll do the same thing for this side. There's a left hand master page and a right hand master page. These pages, the master pages up here, they, any items that you put on them, will be on every page. So clicking inside the text frame with the text tool, I'll type the name of my newsletter. I'm hoping you have a better name for yours than name of newsletter. Then I'm going to select this and try to come up with a nice design for it. I'm going to get my control panel. There it is so that I can use that for all these text frame options. The font that I'm going to choose, I've already selected it in advance, is Palatino. And I'll choose Palatino Regular. And then before the name of newsletter, I'm going to click my cursor. And here from the type menu, I will choose Insert Special Character, Marker, and Current Page Number. I'm going to now type a space. I don't know why it's looking like that, but let's zoom in. There it is. So I've got an A and then the name of my newsletter. Again, you'll type the name of your newsletter here. So I'd like for the page number to stand out a little bit from the name of the newsletter. So I'm going to make that bold. And maybe I'll make it a different font just to make it even more. I'm going to make it Arial Black. There we go. So later on when I choose a color theme for my newsletter, I might make that page number a color. 
after the name of the newsletter, I'll type the month. Your, yours might be a monthly newsletter, maybe it's a quarterly newsletter, maybe it's an annual newsletter. But I'm just going to imagine this is the month, a monthly newsletter. So I'll type January 2020. And I'll make that italics. Just change the style so it's a differentiation. So I've got a page number, a name of my newsletter, and the month that it is. I'll go, let me zoom in here. Control or Command Plus is to zoom in. I'd like to have three spaces here. There's one, three. And then in this middle space, I'm going to type my Shift key and the backward slash. It's beside the square brackets to get this straight line character. So now I'm going to zoom out and you can see I've designed what I think is a pretty good folio. That's what a page number is called. So I'd like for this page number to be the exact same on my left hand page, but everything should be the opposite. In other words, this number, this A, which is going to be the page number, should be on the right side. And then beside it should be the name of the newsletter and then the date. So I'm going to select all of this and copy it. Edit, copy. And then as I move over to the other page and paste it, edit, paste. So you can see we need these to be mirror images of each other. So I'll first select the A, cut it, and put it on the outside. Paste. Now I'll select the name of the newsletter, cut that, and put that here. Put a space between them. And then I'll just take this little standing bar and put that in between. So the last part is this one right now is aligned to the left. You can see up here in the alignment. So I want this one to be aligned to the right. There we go. So now, because these are on the master pages, you can see here I am up here in the A master area. That means they should be on all four of these pages. Let's double click on page one to check it out. Do you see here how that has the numeral one now? Let's look at pages two and three. This now has the numeral two, the numeral three, and the numeral four. That's because when we were here in the master page, what we typed here, rather than a capital A, what we typed was insert special character, marker, and current page number. So that types an A, not you. Back to page one, and our document is set up and ready for work.